Hello once again everyone and welcome to Baldur's Gate 3 the lore series. Um, as you can see uh, I bench Lysel most uh, more than anything because we are taking a hero with us today. Uh, we're gonna quickly prepare her. She doesn't have anything really. And why Lysel? Well because Astarion particularly is quite important to have around still although we finished wrapping up his storyline and Karlak um, it's not as important to have around just yet but still it's uh, preferable to go this uh, this team from uh, from now on until a little bit longer let's see if we can we just played host to an undying queen. that is true last episode and thus without our fine silverware Lazelle has courage turning her back on a lifetime's belief. As for us, best we stay out of interplanar politics, I think. Orpheus is on his own. But should Great Vlakit come to settle a score with Lazelle, well, <laughs> I might be convinced to kill her. Undying or not, she was very loud. Right. So yeah, last episode uh, we had a visit. Oh, we could not sleep that night. We had a, one interruption after the other. And uh, now we're traveling together. I realized I know much about you. Well, we could get some story from that her, well maybe. Taste. I've heard my share of bad ballads about things I never did. Oh, well, like every if you hero. Have questions, ask. Just don't expect my answers to rhyme. Like every hero, really. The Dead 3 before she did, as I've explained to you uh, before. It was Baal alone we faced in our time. And bad as that was, he had no elder brain for a lapdog then. Help won't come from the history books or from any old tales I can spin you. This is your story to write. <laughs> there. Have I fulfilled my role as your wise and wizened elder? Ah, come on. She's, you're not so old. That, well, she's very old, actually. Yeah, you're not that old, are you? Uh, actually. I've passed enough years that counting them is a waste of what remains. Which is to say, yes, I am that old. About 2000 or so, right? Ask it. Let's see. Anything else? You fought in the Temple of Baal before. Would you be able to find it again? You speak of a battle more than a century <coughs> past. Baal's minions led us through a maze in the Undercity, older than Baldur's Gate itself. We paid little mind to the path ahead, let alone how we might return, or that we would return at all. Still, the Undercity shifts. We might search down there, or better yet, find a ballast to lead us. Right, so what about the Illithids? More than I would like. In my youth, I was a brief and very much unwilling member of a colony's hive mind. I felt the way they think, saw the world as they do. Foul unnatural creatures who find the foulness in us and twist it to their will but then oh. who am i speaking to you have far more experience than i you see she's actually telling us that maybe the emperor is not to be trusted i believe you you remind me of another i knew Marked oh. by forces beyond their control. The gods can grant power or strip it away. But so long as your will remains, you have the only weapon you need. So that's very interesting. As you wish. So very well, lads. We are taking um, the Hira. And obviously she's in level 1 as you can see. Um... I have a little thing thought from before recording this episode. I'm not entirely sure how it's gonna pan out. 
Uh, but I was thinking since we don't have a healer and the one that can grant the, uh, grant the blessing and the guide, the guidance. Uh, I'm gonna try something out. It might not go well, but well. That's what we're here for. First of all, I want to try to make it as quick as possible. So we got this. That's gonna give us a healing. Mm, and I was actually thinking on giving her the staff. No, that's not it. It looks similar. Might actually be in the in the chest. Um It isn't. Someone has it then. I, I kind of like to show to show you guys uh, when I make the map, when I make the characters up. But I know it uh, it can be tedious, so let me know if you want me to skip this whole thing all the time. Look, here it is. So, I don't know. I feel like it, it almost makes would make you bond or just have a more caring point of view from uh, for the character so we're gonna give the this stuff has the blessing on it right uh, as for the armor I didn't really see anything that could be suitable However, just in the just for the sake of uh, increasing the armor class, I think I'm gonna go with the adamantine scale mill. It's gonna be kind of weird because I'm not gonna change. Uh, I'm not gonna do the respects for her. I'm just gonna level her up like like it is. Uh, so rings. I was thinking on one that looks like this, but it's not that one. It's like the. It's like the. Uh, eternal sight ring I believe that uh, looks like that ever sight that's it so it's the ever sight ring that's just gonna um... right that gives her the uh, immunity to blind mmm I think one of these guys had the um, throwback ring um, gloves. Because, to be truth, um, don't really have anything for her, do I? Hmm. Nobody has them. Is the problem with. I mean, so many things now. We do have a lot of things. The duelist. They were blue, right? Pretty sure they were. Uh... Because other than that, what could be good for... For Yehira. I mean, nothing really. Gemini. I'm pretty sure uh, Shadowheart had them, right? Yeah, right. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna give her. Give it to her. Pretty difficult to come up with something. Oh, look at that! Armor class in acrobatics plus one. Yeah, why not? Wanna leave it like that? And uh, we don't have a cloak, right? Let's. Uh, this one, Carla has it. Yeah, okay. Let's give it to her. Carla gets well enough. What was the 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 uh, burnished burnished ring? I think.
Look at all the things we got. <laughs> I don't know why I don't dare to... To sell the books and whatnot. Oh. Ah, oh, there it is. Paralyzing Ray. Okay. Mm, with that... Actually, since she's gonna have the... Um, the spear is gonna be playing in a medium heavy medium armor as a healer. Although she's not, uh, we're not gonna respect her as a cleric or anything. We we can give her a shield. Okay, I got two shields here. Plus two armor class, stealth plus one, plus two armor class. Okay, the lightning. There we go. A little bit weird for you here, I wouldn't you say? And I think the only thing I can really put on her as a helmet would be the Wapiros crown. That item is not all too bad, and you get it really early in the game. Ah, uh, there it is. But yeah, lads, today we're gonna have a, a, our first share of lore after a few episodes of. Uh, of not having much of that. Can I give it a bow? Well, better than nothing. But just in case, right? Yeah, today we want to have our first share of lore. And uh, new things to discover, actually. You might know what's coming. So I'm just going to let you know. We get a new companion, hopefully. Uh, okay, circle of the land. Look, there it is. She can cast the guidance. It's pretty good. We're gonna level level her up just as she is. We're not gonna do any respect. Uh, I don't think it's not like super important to have it around just for the uh, for story unraveling and and lore more than anything really. So level three, we get the. Um, I was thinking under dark. Because this one gives you Misty Step. And that's just important to have. It's like the best. It's basically the best spell in the game. Right. Uh, I'm gonna put resistance. Now here we could do 18 Wisdom. With the feet. But much later I think we, we, we will manage uh, 18 or 20. Remember, it's level 12 now. So, level 4. Let's give her alert to start the fights, maybe, and that way we can cast a blessing. Uh, I'm gonna redo the spells though. This is the last video that will have uh, timestamps. I decided it didn't really, uh, I didn't really like how it, it goes, so enjoy because, or maybe I, I will put timestamps uh, when I do this uh, level up and stuff. So level 5, but m everything else will not have st uh, time ta time stamps anymore. Level 5, uh, what does this, this give you? Okay, a slit storm is pretty good and we got the haste, so we're gonna go with that. Just a little technicalities before going through story and Ravelin and lore. As you know. Uh, let me know if you want something I was... I've been working a little bit, making notes and whatnot. Uh, Shadow of the Earth Tree lore series, like a lore world world, just like this one. But on the DLC of Elden Ring. Let me know if you would like that to happen. Uh, right. Sorry that I, that I um, go off topic, but since I'm just leveling up the character, why not? Level 7, uh, this one gives you... Okay, the Ice Storm is... And especially the Conjure Minor Elemental, it's also necessary, especially for Druid. Like, she's a Druid like Halcyon, but more of a pet uh, calling uh, spellcaster Druid. Okay, level 8. Uh, I'm not gonna do this yet. 
because we can just go and put resilient this one gives you one on one point and we want to put it on constitution there we got 18 so it works out pretty all right i would say level nine we got another of this circle of the land um Oh, mass healing, yeah, 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 yeah. Contagion, I don't know what that is, quite frankly, but we got the mass healing, and we're probably gonna use it since we don't have a healer. Yeah, healer's gonna be pretty, actually pretty good to be to have around because we got the blessing, the guidance, and healings. Um, okay. Ah, we're just gonna go with the poison spray. The audio lately box on the level up screen for some reason and level 12 the last level and here i believe we are able to put that wisdom up to yeah we want to use ability improvement and we want to put wisdom 20. i'm trying to go as quick as possible we're already almost 20 minutes in and we have a few things to see so last bit of this Last bit, I swear, guys. Let me remake uh, this. I always remake the spell because I, I I like to have it my way, quite frankly. That's the only reason. Right. So, first of all, um, the normal heal, right? Mm, yeah. Because that one is already uh, prepared, as you can see, I believe. Yeah, always prepare. Yeah, because of, that's an item one. Very well. So, uh, something that can be useful, because remember, when we were leveling up, you saw it. We got the um, gold lining. So, create water. The great water. And the cold lining, of course. Then, uh, I'm trying to look at it, I don't remember, oh, there it is, the Gust of Wind. Um, there is one I was looking at, okay, this one. Heat Metal, cause it's a weapon or, or armor to glow red hot and force the world to let it go. That's, that's really good. That's really good. Uh, the Flaming Sphere can never fail. And the moonbeam, of course. Now, uh, obviously, we need the healings. What have I got up here? This one is always ready, though. Maybe I should add it as well as a spell. No, 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 no. Wait, we do have this one. No, that that one. Rate of Restoration, that's the, um, the area mass healing, as you may know. Now, Conjure, Elemental, yes, but this one, Conjure Woodland Being. Remember, we're going to have a few pets. Um, yeah, we have these two pets and we're going to have an extra one, you'll see why. It's a cantrip. Oh, I don't know. I'm trying to avoid everything that has concentration because I don't really like to uh, rely on rely on um, concentration spells. But I think Wall of Stone is pretty nice. Mm. Is the Blight? Yeah. Blight? Why not? It's not concentration. Uh, there is one spell that I'm looking for that I never used this one I think yeah good berry I don't have a different version of it right no I never used it it's a it's another extra healing it's an action uh so we're gonna put the flame blade remember we got the staff of the of the um, 
not the staff of blessing the staff of uh of the druid that is like a pretty good weapon but we can cast that use it and then cast the flame blade so maybe we use the flame blade at some point and other than that i everything else it's with concentration so we might as well just start adding whole person for example and and that one uh, feign death and we got one one more spot yeah you, daylight why not enchant an item to shine like the sun or summon a sphere or sunlight that dispels all darkness around it mmm dispels all darkness but uh, does it reveal enemies i'm not entirely sure so very well finally we can begin we got yahira around it's gonna be pretty good Still in control. we got a lot of things to do remember dame aileen it's gone she's gone to see the wizard lord Roakan. we are to go with her and face him together i don't know if we'll get to do it today but nonetheless, we are back at the lower city. A few casualties from our last fight. If you remember, that's not a very good thing to, to happen. That woman that is begging for money for her son. I tried talking to her. You cannot give her money for some reason. Too bad I was going to give her 500 or something like that. You cannot do that. But in any case, we are at the lower city, and we are looking for someone in particular. Shouldn't go wandering in dark alleys. Very dangerous hobby. Gets people killed. Oh, but surely we're safe with one of Nine Fingers' big strapping boys to protect us. That's her sigil on your ring, is it not? Eyes to yourself, elf. She looks really good with the armor, not gonna lie. Very well. Uh, if you took a short conversation, such a handsome fellow, but I have urgent business, intimidation. Nah, we don't need to go intimidating everyone. We already do a lot of that. Let's do this. See, we got the guidance now, that's good. You're here to see Nine Fingers? She didn't tell me. Always don't let anyone through, Tuscon. Never hears a list of special guests. Confusing. Come, I'll take you to the guild hall. Nine Fingers is inside. Such a difference to play this game with a... Oh. Before I change my mind. With a paladin that has charisma. Though. Otherwise you had to fight them all, just so you know. Very well. Guild hall. This is the night the nine fingers hall. These are the thieves. Uh, it's like the thief of um, yeah, the thieves guild basically. That's what it is. They're all on the same side, friend. Nine fingers invited us herself. The guild master hired you, yes. But I think it's best if your centrum keep to themselves. We can see everything that's going on here. Some court in it seems. Uh, some paintings over there. We love paintings. What a banger, by the way, that guy was playing. This is the bar. For the Thieves of Guild, uh, uh, the Thieves of Guild, the Guild of Thieves, this is not bad at all. Uh, I'm assuming this is where I go. Someone's vintage Moonshay Zinfandel collection, but it looks like a lot of the bottles have gone missing. No. Oh, this is her. 
It's an orphanage, Ukta. What would you have me do? Seize their toys as payment? Well, they failed to pay tribute. We should withdraw our protection, at the very least. And cede more ground to the Stone Lord. <laughs> You're not suggesting I yield a single inch of the city, my city, to this cult. I... We already look weak. If you're seen to be forgiving debts... I didn't say forgive. Seize the building. Arm any children old enough. If they protect what's mine, we'll consider that a start on what's owed. Yes, Guildmaster. I... Excuse me. This is a private council. Keep your underpants clean, Ukta. We're playing host to a hero. You owe me a gold piece, Grandmother. When I heard you died out in the wilderness, I made an offering at Kellenvor's... Grand? Wife. What? Oh, gold? Oh, I did not know I meant so much to you, Guildmaster. Oh, I'm terribly sentimental. Case in point, I've just let a harper walk through my guild hall, noticeably unholed. Because I'm curious about why you're here and who it is you've brought with you. Wait a minute. I got a bit dizzy there. Uh... Grandmother. That's your granddaughter. Let Yekira do the talking. This is the one who saved my life. So really, she owes you your gold piece. But we can settle debts later, Nine Fingers. For now, we need help. We're searching for Minsk of Rashomon. A big name, that. Such information does not come cheap, High Harper. Not in normal times. Of course. Seeing as these are not normal times, and we're all such good friends, I'll do better than tell you where he is. I'm bringing him here as we speak. Or parts of him, at least. I gave no orders about the condition of his goals. What treachery is this, Nine Fingers? Have you thrown in with the Absolute too? Against my own city? Careful. You're in very real danger of hurting my feelings. It's Minsk who's found his faith with Faerun's newest god. What? And a new well. name with it. There it is. Stone Lord. Lies. <laughs> Well, there it is. That is the surprise. Surprise no more. Today we are going to uh, try and find Minsk. And if you do not know much about it, this is the part in which I bluff my way through the lore. So, uh, well, Minsk is basically the most popular character of this franchise. It's um, it's almost the re basically the reason why Kratos, it's, uh, the markings are red and not blue in the first place. Well, Minsk... It's very well known in the world, in Feyrun, a very well known Rashimar warrior, native to the region of uh, Rashimen in Feyrun. Mostly described as a short and muscular guy by the tales and the books you can find around. I don't know, I would say he's pretty tall, <laughs> in my opinion. Well, obviously, can be very uh, recognizable because of the tattoo on his face. The purple mark that he's going the half of his face um, he's usually accompanied by Boo who is his hamster He uh, who also Minsk insists that this hamster is a miniature giant space hamster um, and it would seem he is able to understand him because he engaged very often in conversation with him uh, during the events of Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 Minsk uh, meets Gorion's ward there, which is basically the playable character of those games, and joins him in in the, the whole story, alongside characters like Imoen, uh, Khalid, and Yehira. So, there you have it. That's as much as I know, as much as I have informed myself. I have not played the other games. Maybe we should do a lore series on those games, a story unraveling series. I don't know. But yeah, that's the thing. They accompany the 
the playable character, who was also a spawn of Baal. Which is why this is so... Um, you know, it's kind of epic. In my opinion, at least. Hmm. What makes you think he joins the Absolute? Maybe he just doesn't like thieves. I considered that, but there's a pattern to his strikes, an intent. In his short reign, the Stone Lord and his crew have earned a reputation. Pure brutality, no survivors. And where he mows my people down, this ripe little cult takes root. But not for much longer. We have word on where he plans to hit next. And he'll find us ready to hit back this time. Nine fingers. Estelle. Call off your ambush. Tell us where he is, and we'll handle this. We? I see no harp as Jahira. I'm sorry, but this fight's too big for you alone. Prepare to attack. Ah. If you're half the friend you're posing as, you'll tell her that her part in this is done. The Stone Lord's fate is sealed. We have a bigger war to fight. I'd rather turn our talk to that, but if you need a moment, Jahira, well, you've earned that much. My guild hall is open to you. Have a drink, Jahira. Have a rest. Just leave well enough alone. It would be a shame for the city to lose two of its heroes in one day. Right, so Minsk, it's with the absolute, it would seem, by the information we've been given today. Oh, if that ain't not, who are you? Same, similar, familiar. So, the mission right now is to go and find him. And I think I have to, I... Holy oh, shit, the small! Who it is? Glad to see you in the city. Hope you found plenty of coin in Ketterick's coffers. Ready to do some business? Where are you? Uh, what the fuck? Okay, let's let's get talking first. I want to do this thing. This is what I've been trying to do the whole the whole time since since the last light in. No, oh, I bet. Ready to do some business? Let's see. She doesn't give me any more dialogue? That's a little bit disappointing. Give me that! Can't have this floating around loose. I thought I was meant to be the thief. This is how you, sur uh, how you survive the Shadowlands, a deal with Raphael. Are you going to destroy it? Kill Raphael in hell, he's gone for good. What? You can kill half the devils in the hells for all I care. But Raphael was my patron. He made promises. Ah, for fuck's sake, kid. Come this on. This is just a hiccup, though. I'll still run this city one day, with or without Raph. And when I do, my guild won't look on you too kindly. What the fuck? Just fucking save your soul. Talk to Sticky. Until I come to collect, our business is done! Ah, you fucking kid! Well... Well, th there's, there's that, lads. Holy shit. Very well. What's going on here? Hi, Thos. Saint Thos. Who? Oh, that's right. So this guy has a friend. It's a goblin. Oh, there it is. Not entirely sure why it's important. <coughs> Can't lie. It's a relief to have that old fart off my hands. Oh, that's odd. Very well then. 
Let's get out. There is a lot of things here to do, I think. But we'll see to that later. We are heading off to the... Um, well, what do they... What do people call it? It's the counting house, which is basically a bank. Remember that uh, since we're going there, we have two keys. Casador's key and the other guy's key. Ah, wait. Yeah, I believe it's about around here. As the steel watch. Oh, and there it is. That is the bank. Oh, it's an earthquake. Very well, so here we've got business. As you can see, just a normal bank, we got a queue. Or maybe not, because this place is empty. Hello. Welcome to the counting house. I'm head clerk me, honey. How may the Fellowship of Financiers serve you? You seem a little nervous, Sir Meat Honey. Had some difficult customers today? One in particular calling himself the Stone Lord, oh. perhaps. The who? The what? All right, fine. The head banker may have just taken a customer by that name down to the vaults. Rather large, rather heavily armed, which is against regulations. But I'm sure the head banker knows what he is doing. <laughs> I assure you, he does not. You are right to be nervous. But let us pass, and all will be well. Uh, well, who is this stone lord to you? All right, let's see. The throwing stood. That would be most unusual. But then so is our visitor. <laughs> that he is. But don't worry. We can handle him. Very well. Show the guards this temporary vault pass. And should my superior ask, keep my name out of it. Very well. So I have a few things to show you here. Account holders only from here. Vault pass? Yep. Right. <clears throat> Descend and know. Upon entering the vaults, you forego the protection of city and church law alike. Which is to say, keep to your own vault and you'll be fine. Oh, okay. Very well. So, as I was saying, I have a few things to show you around here. Um, first of all, if you are playing uh, as a bad guy or as a thief, look at that. They even give you the, the tools right away. This place is where you're going to get rich. Rich real quick. Well, we're a paladin and all that, but a stallion isn't. <laughs> so let's see what we got. $1,600. Now, very important... Um, very important thing to say it's that this is a this is a walk in the park because we have Yahira basically you know 
if you have if you find yourselves having issues um, in this place I will show you a few things that uh, will help you with that uh, for example okay let's kill the chest as well it's empty for example um, you would need to go to the head um, the headmaster room and just inspectionate everything that he's got around in order to find some keys and whatnot obviously we're not we cannot steal here anymore it's all guarded from here as you can see the red turns red so we cannot go oh that's pretty cool actually you can you can get in from there very well Oh. Just need to see your vault pass, please. What's Here. Order? Blessed day to you. Blesses be. Don't worry about that. All the traps are uh, uh, deactivated because we have the pass, basically. That's why you bring your hero. And if you can't, well, it's a bit trickier, but it can still be done. Visitors log. Hmm, what is Met Honey? Uh, Meat Honey? Cynthia Bumprof? Rakat Glitterbeard? Give the Stone Lord a tour of the lower vaults. Hmm. Delivery, uh, delivery of a large chest to the high security vault. Mm, that's interesting. Right. And here are all the Please from entering until a staff member has opened the way for you. Here is a couple of chambers with the vaults in it. And this is the thing. Uh, I want to show it to you, okay? With my character. To rest. So our key holder. Ah, well, well, we got lots of keys. It has to be one of the last ones here. Counting house vault number five. So we got the number five. And I think a Starion has number one. So is that blood? No, the thing is, mind. we open this chamber with the vaults, and we see uh, there is a lot of them, and this is number one. And this is number five. Now, uh, yeah, you can just uh, just miss this step to get in. Remember, just remember that they they are closed. Each of them, you don't have that many spells, uh, so you have to choose. Basically, you can't get it all. Now, the thing is, as you can see, one and five in this chamber. But if we go here. Again, one to five. So it could be one of these or one of the others. This room has a trap, as you can see. It 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 throws you away. So I want to tell you what I'm going to do before uh, after just taking what this. Just have some gold. So what I'm going to do it's basically I'm gonna send two characters. Uh well no not really. I'm gonna send one character. With the misty step because uh we only have two. We have two misty steps and you can get in and out. Basically, so get to it. Right, and this is number one. Yeah, so this is the number one key we had. Just some gold, a ruby. Ah, yeah, and there is always gold in the like in the floor. So 
just to keep in mind. Uh, is this important? Not really. We just got the keys from the fight. And I just found the feet to come and, and do our thing. Ah. Well, some weapons. Oh, I'm about to get encumbered. We do have a lot of things that are pretty unnecessary. The scrolls don't <clears throat> don't wait anything, but still, let's just send all of this to camp. We'll see later what we do with it. And I do have a lot of um, a lot of tools. Oh well, that's it's a lot of different things. But yeah, that's it. That's it here. And you have two. And if you want, you can send them. If you have the 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 sleight of hand and the stats, you can send each character here. You have two uh, misty steps. One to get in, one to get out. And you can do a short rest afterwards. So now... What to do? Obviously, we open number one. And the next one is number five right here. Uh, this thing in the, in the floor, there is also another one here. Just so you know. So, I think the idea is to um, just take my paladin because he has the flight and try and get here. Investigation failed, that's because there is another trap here. Uh, we got the key, so all good. In the end, it wasn't nothing really. You can see it's just gold. 1,000 though, it's really good. We're up to, we're up to 7,000. 9,400, look at that. Pretty good. And yeah, I guess you can try and send a star around opening in the mall, but obviously it's a bit difficult. So we won't do. Right. We can carry on lots. For current door codes, please refer to the head banker's office. Highest now. security clearance only. Now, that's when I that's what I was saying. In order to come here, you may have to go to the headmaster's office and scan through his archives and see what he's got around. Um, in order to learn the code, you can see it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and you have to get the password correct. That way you can open the door. But since we don't, we, we didn't do this, we didn't do that. I'm going to do it a different way. First of all, uh, for the direct notice of cleaning stuff, no more water is to be used to clean the floor in front of the main vault. Use prestivitation if you must clean there. We can't afford any more lining mishaps with wet pressure plates. There will be no more warnings. Only dismissals. Floor is meat honey. Very well. So as I said, you get a password and you can open the, the vault. I actually know the password, but you know that um, if we didn't read it in this playthrough, it's kind of breaking the, lore, the, the role play. Do not approach any vault but your own. Make sure of the numbers before attempting opening. Do not ask cash cards for help with the locks. Doors or carrying valuables. Well, these are the rules. Uh, oh, and at the end of the note, we get warning. Wet floor. Unsafe to use devices powered by bottle lining. So, we don't know the password, but we know that it's very sensitive to water and lining. Let us show them how it's Luckily, done. 
Yeah, here has got both. Will you look at that? Never quiet. Now, let's, let's come right over here. So we don't step on that. Right. The passageway. Oh yeah, and the Stone Lord. I will explain you after the cinematic. Nine fingers had this one made especially. Hello, Marvel. We'll barely slow it down. But the stories. Stories. Tall tales and big names, lad. Don't let them fool you. Elminster the Archmage. Drist the Drow Exile. Heroes have power, I. But not. Half so much as we do. A little coin into the right purse. A soft word in the right ear. It's not glory that spins these planes, lad. It's gold. See? No. It's a mimic. Morrigan's cracked clay. There he is. There is no gold in here. <sighs> if there is one thing Minsk hates more than beasts with bad breath. <sighs> it is those who are tricksome with the truth. And turnips. But you are no turnip. Let that be of comfort in your final moments. <laughs> Meet Minsk. He still seems very much himself to me. Uh -huh. Oh my God! <laughs> I'm gonna faint. Oh. Uh... Better to call yourself Stonehead. Ah, oh, he's a bit weirded out. Face does not fool my eyes. I will cut until you look like the monster you truly are. Somehow you are making even less sense than usual. Perhaps I can explain. Oh, that's Orin. Or it could be another shapeshifter, Lord, quite frankly. Through your lies, shapeshifter. No, it must be Odin. Count yourself lucky he cannot stay. Oh, nine fingers set a poor trap, little banker. Let the absolute faithful show you how it is done. It has to be Odin, right? No. Well, the other guys we have the changed the same way. Maybe it's and another shapeshifter. need of it elsewhere. As you say, Jaira. Slarning shape changers! Enough! Let us deal with these cultists. Then find out where they are nesting. Oh, right. Very well, so. Oh, okay, they go sanctuary. Oh. Unstoppable. Oh, you look at that. They have unstoppable. Um, reduce the next damage taken by an, by the entity to one and consumes one charge of unstoppable. Oh. 
you see that so these guys have a uh, sanctuary meaning that until they attack we cannot attack them oh so right i'm gonna explain to you how this is better done what you want to do although you're gonna damage yourself it's that you want to get uh, all together so even we're gonna we're gonna take damage oh we don't the other characters are probably gonna take damage uh yeah i'm gonna stay myself up there which is uh which is all right right i have five charges of uh of frenzy which is pretty all right it's pretty cool Okay, there you go with the unstoppable. Should take more damage now. Yeah. So yeah. The best thing to do, Covered. frankly, it's to... Look at the mimic. Is <laughs> to try to gather all together. To not be so splitted. Astion is probably gonna take damage. Yeah. Yes, I know. Apologies, lad. The guys up above, we cannot even hit, so... Why bother? I'm gonna turn invisible. What must be done? I need the hero uh, down as well. And if I stay up there, it's alright. Our paladin can handle that. Straight path. Hmm. What have we got? The daylight does not reveal, right? No. Well, just gonna carry on like that. They go invisible. Look at that half HP. I think he goes invisible. But I do have my eye, that's why. One good thing <laughs> Volo did for us. Really? Oh no, there is that guy. Hopefully we don't lose anyone today. Kalak stunt. Another one. Oh, that's not good. I gotta go down there. Can I kill this guy? Oh, nice. Thanks. Best be on my way. Ah, oh, there, there you are. Oh, I wish I had. Oh, would you look at that. Yeah, no, I, I was about to say. I already used my action. Why do I have that? Those guys, if you don't know how to deal with them, they are really annoying. Because they can attack twice and go invisible afterwards. So you see yourself uh, forced to use uh, reveal or fairy lights or something of the sort. Nice. That's divine fire. That guy is almost like a paladin. We approve of that. My little trick. They all taking damage, but what can I do? 
It's just too good. Look at that. I can finally cast the frenzy. We have five charges of frenzy. That's insane. Let's have some Let's play. There you go. Saved. Look at that. Almost dead. Oh. Consider my hackles erased. Okay, so the other the other one was around here. And I really have nothing to Can I cast the whole thing again? Hopefully it's here. Because they they still move. Oh, there it is. But I don't have the light. The, yeah, I use the action, so. Anyway. Gonna go invisible again. Oh, you're coming here. Hmm. Very well. Right. Can't do much, Very well. but it's something. Oh, there was another one. Yeah, motherfucker. Don't go over there. Can you cast the reveal? Mm, she doesn't have it. Right. That guy doesn't do anything. By the way, by the way, the dwarf. The dwarf does do, doesn't do nothing. So if I can jump here. I wanna try something. And I can cast. I, I can use. This. Here. I'm trying to guess where he is. <laughs> that would have been really cool if it worked. For the fallen. I can't do anything. So I wanna use my fairy light. Just to... Where did he go? Am I misreading this? Maybe he's here or something. Oh, the friends is over? Oh, you really didn't reveal him? Reveal him. Come on. What? I really don't understand why my fairy light didn't work. It was so close. Rage ended. Okay, that's interesting. Over there. Where the fuck is he? God knows. Uh, it is necessary that I go there. I have my my volos I How did I not, didn't I reveal him? See, I, I have right there in the left. See invisibility. Why doesn't? Mm, that's odd. 
Yeah, the dwarf is just like hiding or something. I don't know. In position. This one cannot be aimed to nothing, right? Yeah. Mm, should I try something like that? Where is the guy? The dance macabre. Yes, here. Can't even catch my breath. One day. Catch a break. Hmm. Okay, hopefully you can recast your shit. He can. Yeah, that uh, that's the question I'm asking myself, quite frankly. <laughs> Fucking idiotic uh, ability you got. I keep guessing I think I'm gonna try and like stay really close in case he wants to move okay Spill some blood. Yeah, because I really have nothing else to reveal and I thought we were going to be friends Turn visible and attack rules against them have advantage. Yeah, huh? that's that's very weird. You are literally in the light. I don't understand why it goes invisible. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie, this is pissing me off a little bit. Can I keep throwing this? Makes uh, damage in area. Hmm. Time to kill. Really, I can't really do anything. Mm. Is this a? Mm, it needs a target, yeah. Okay, let's see if I can throw you something else. Just to see if I can... Or here or so. Just so I can close the path. Oh, it doesn't do anything. I thought it was ignited by, it, by itself. What about this one? Okay, so they only Still act standing, against targets. No matter what you heard. Is it still wet here? Hmm, still wet. That's not a good idea. <laughs> That's not a good idea at all. Ice storm though. It's gonna get us all though. 
probably not worth it. It heals basically nothing. But well, gonna get really close to this freaking light. so idiotic it's actually pissing me off a little bit so bring that where where is it didn't reveal for shit There you are, you stupid cunt. Sorry to use that word. But come on. Come on. Off we go then. A short rest for this stupidity? That's pretty stupid, not gonna lie. Okay, what about you, coward? You can tell Nine Fingers this was not my fault. She swore that mimic could swallow a bloody owl bear. Wait, you're no guild sworn. Who are you? Um. The person who saved you, dude. Gratitude of the gold variety, I suppose you mean. Good luck with that. The Stone Lord just cleared our vaults. And now he has enough gold to make himself a lord in truth. And he wouldn't even know what to spend it on. It's the cult that needs that money. Why? You think anyone told me? Nine Fingers sent word the Stone Lord was going to try his luck on our vaults. So she told me to cooperate. Lure him in. Yes, sir, Stone Lord, sir. Shall we open the account in your name or the absolutes? Just step this way to your special deposit box. Don't mind the teeth. <laughs> no one mentioned he might have some old crone dropping in as backup. Crone? Uh, look, I oh. just mean to say we both want him caught. <laughs> If you've got your sights set on the Stone Lord, anyway. As chairman of the Fellowship of Financiers, I can assure you we'd reward you well for the return of the coin he took. Not for us, you understand. For the common Baldurian. Who knows what he's planning to do with it. Right, so he's the Stone Lord basically because, because he was turned to stone. Um... This explains like in books and, and ballads that are written up about him and that's why he is alive basically because uh, as you as I explained to you before he and Yahira were uh, part of the party in the previous games that happened like a really long time ago. Uh, Yahira is alive because she's an elf obviously uh, and Minsk is alive because he was turned to stone and it seems like he is being um, disenchanted. Uh, that's why. That's why he's the Stone Lord, basically. Um, what's to stop me giving from it myself? Compassion for your fellow folk, or maybe just good sense. That much money only paints a target on your back. In our hands, it keeps the city ticking over. Stock in merchant stalls. Food in hungry bellies. Retrieve the coin. And I'll make sure you are well rewarded. There's treasures greater than gold. 
Feel free to poke around. Ah, that's not what he, what he said before. Sent. Me, I've got ledgers to amend. Well, that's very different from what you said before. Okay, let's have a look. Well, Minsk said that this thing didn't have gold. Yeah. Precisely, it doesn't. Let's have a look around. Well, we got all those things to uh, to pick up and and whatnot, of course. As usual, we just send it all back. At some point, we are going to say, look, there is a few things over there. Oh, look at that. The letter is written in a rough, hasty scroll. Latest load of barrels didn't arrive. No word from Kairos. Assuming the worst can't uh, can't wait any longer, the plan must go ahead. Just what you have now. Deal with complications later. Right. Radio. It can be revealing. Mm, this is uh, a letter to the dwarf that was that works outside orders from Jay I'm assuming it's Jahira like the fake one Stone Lord Strike Team update on the counting house operation we've been tipped off uh, to expect an ambush when uh, once we reach the vault but the guild underestimates us as usual and if we maintain coordination we should be able to shrug it off without causalities let the Stone Lord take the lead. If you deal efficiently with this ca uh, with the cash cards, there may be time to gather additional funds before we withdraw. Bring everything to the cistern in the sewers. Oh, we are going. We are going to the sewers. It seems to the underworld of this city. That's pretty interesting. Okay, so everyone thinks now Minsk eats with the absolute. That can't be good. I mean, he's a, he's like a legend, right? The true hero and whatnot. One of the people who saved uh, Baldur's Gate. Let's see what we've got here. Well, these footprints started in the sewers. Well, precisely, we are going to the sewers. Right, and we got that vault. Someone there. Can we open it? Oh yeah, we can. With pleasure. It's not a stealing. Oh, for thirty. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh. Light armor plus two bonus to the initiati uh, initiative roll. Advantage on stealth checks. This is actually really good for Astarion. Astarion hasn't had anything that's good for him so far. We, I put this on him because we, we were lacking on anything. Uh, but this is really good, actually. Oh, would you look at that? What now? Very well. So, it would seem we are done here. Do I have anything else? First time the vault's been breached. The entire time I've worked here. Hmm. Very well. So yeah, lads, we are done here. That's why we are going to go to the um, Basilisk Gate. That's like the very beginning of the city. Because from there we are going to go to the sewer and the underworld. I, I, I didn't really know how to call it. Right. What's the deal with this zombie, by the way? Strange beggar lumber. Give it your best shot. An air of decay what? hangs over the stooped beggar's form. The smell of rot. The smell of death. Gold first. 
Then you can hit me. 15 gold to hit you. Strange way to earn your keep. Uh, do many take you, you take you up on this? That's a cheap price for allowing someone to beat you up. Usually people pay me to not hit them. Tried that once. They took the gold and hit me anyway. Better this way. I still leave with gold in my pockets. So, you having a go or not? Uh, no, 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 no. We try to be good guys. Then move. Well, he, that's his job, I guess. I mean, if you're a zombie, why do you want gold? Okay, manhole. Why do you call it that? But yeah, from here we are going to go to the source. And this, uh, well, the underground is not the underdark or anything. But That's nonetheless, curious. it's massive and we got lots of things to, to, to do here. And to see and to discover. So this is going to be a whole new area. Uh, to slash. Okay, that's odd. Ah, because it's the poisonous one. It doesn't do any damage. No one stop me here. Right. And actually, I think from here we can do this, um, the mission with, uh, with the Emperor. Trying to find his hideout, his old hideout. And yeah. Uh, let's see what's here. Oh, look at that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is actually where we were before. This is the Nine Fingers Lair. And that this is the door that we could not open. I and mean, it's the kitchen. We had our audience here. And over there, over here is Mole. That, you know, I've been very sick about her. And fucking kid, ungrateful, save her soul and all that for nothing. But anyway, here you can see it's full of uh, acid. Oh well, acid, whatever this is, like radioactive shit. We got a door here. Can't see what it is. We got another entrance here. Look at that. I think this is how you get out to the city or something. And another door here. But we are going to leave that for the next episode. As I told you, this is a big area with lots of uh, lots of stuff. And yeah, we're going to leave it here for today. I hope you, you enjoyed. We're going to carry on, on unraveling the lore. Don't worry about it. I know we've been slow uh, on that lately on the latest videos but guys remember we are on the very last leg of the series things are gonna start to happen right left and center and we're gonna practically rush through it in a way so yeah i'll see you in the next one thank you so much i hope to see you in the next video bye bye